Five schools, one family. A powerful show of support from students in Olathe tonight after a school shooting injured three people, including the gunman. Their unity seen in a sea of orange and in the comforting moments of prayer and hugs as students gathered at a local church tonight. In the last hour, a Kansas State Senator just confirmed the identity of the second victim. Cindy Holscher thanked Caleb Stoppel online for his actions today. Stoppel is the assistant principal and athletic director at Olathe East. Just hours ago, we learned the school resource officer who stopped the shooting and who was also hurt is Officer Eric Clark. We have live team coverage on this developing story. We start tonight with anchor Caitlin Canute, who's been on the scene all day today. Caitlin, what have you been able to learn? Well, Kevin and Dia, it's been a long day first. Quiet out here tonight, very different from the scene that we were at earlier today. Uh, you both mentioned some of the new information tonight confirming those identities that we'd been hearing all day, but now we're getting that confirmed from officials who knew them. Again, learning that Officer Clark was that uh, student resource officer who was injured, and also Dr. Uh, Stoppel was the administrator, the assistant principal, and the athletic director who was injured as well. We did learn some new information tonight about the suspected gunman. Police did uh, clarify that he was an 18 year old student. They said that he was armed with a handgun at the time. I have to tell you just from talking to people here in the district, whether it was parents out here at the scene who had already heard uh, that it was Officer Clark or to some friends who had worked with Officer Clark, I've heard nothing but positive things about him and the type of man that he was. We do know that he was a 15 year veteran of the force. He actually spent the last seven years as a school resource officer. Um, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office did tweet out this picture of him earlier today saying that they are keeping Officer Clark Clark and his family in their prayers, as are we, certainly. Speaking of prayers, I think when things like this happen, that's what many of us turn to, praying for all of those involved, whether it's the students, whether it's the staff, whether it's those who were injured here today. Uh, Dan, one of our colleagues, Dan, standing by right now with one of those efforts to lift the community up in prayer that took place earlier this evening. Dan? Caitlin, we're here at the Overland Park Church of Christ, and you could really feel the emotion of the day weighing on those who filled the chapel for a prayer service tonight. But you could also sense relief and hope as this house of worship opened its doors. For such a time as this, we will bring um, hope and healing. A community in need of hope and healing coming together at Overland Park Church of Christ. Prayer. Where there is hatred, let me sow love and song filling the room. To just take a really big deep breath to know that they are surrounded by um, love and by peace and by goodness. A needed pause after a grueling day for Olathe East families. To hear those words, active shooter, it's, it's just gut wrenching. Um, sick to my stomach all day. It's been a roller coaster of emotion of a day. Just being like being at school and having peers that also have siblings that go to Olathe East, it was just hard to have so many emotions going on during the school day. Holding hands, exchanging words and hugs, and sharing gratitude in spite of a shared trauma. Olathe schools handled it as best as they could. You know, you have the best laid plans, but it wasn't perfect, but it, they did a really good job. And teachers and staff and paras and everybody at Olathe East um, just protecting our children. In this house of worship, families are counting their blessings together. We can lift each other up and cry on each other's shoulder. And um, it's, it's huge to know that you're not going through something like this alone. A shared spirit in that room tonight, and there was a portion of the evening when families were given the opportunity to individually share prayers, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. You could really sense the gravity of the day and how much it wore on the people in this chapel. The families that we spoke to said they're looking forward to the weekend where they can decompress and continue to have conversations with their families about the events of the day. Reporting live in Overland Park tonight, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News. Dan, thanks so much for that look at that event today. You know, it wasn't just the students from here at Olathe East who have been rallying around those who are affected. We were seeing it from across the Olathe School District. Take a look. This is from earlier this evening. A show of support from kids who came out to Olathe North during their basketball game earlier this evening. As you can see, they were wearing orange. They even held up Olathe East's logo, even cheering for their own school resource officers. <laughs> Oh, 
Olathe is family. Again, another show of support, a lot of relief, a lot of gratitude for many families here in this district tonight. It has been a rough day, though. A drastic change from earlier in where parents and students were. All of the confusion, the anxiety they were facing earlier today. Cameron Taylor has also been here all day long talking to parents, talking to police. He joins us now with a look back at this roller coaster of a day, Cameron. Hey, Caitlin, it has been an emotional day for everyone, including parents and, of course, their kids, not to mention school employees and, of course, first responders, too. Now, tonight we are learning more about the school resource officer who stepped in and how this shooting unfolded. First, I'm you have a shot. Shots fired on a laser. Uh, officer needs assistance. 472, what is your location? 477 shot. Shots fired at Olathe East High School. The news of the shooting sent parents into a panic. This is a parent's worst nightmare to hear that there's an active shooter at their kid's school. It's, pre it's a fairly helpless feeling, to be honest with you. Clay Dorsty's son is a freshman. He quickly jumped into his car to see if his son was all right. Obviously, school shootings take place when you never think it's going to happen to you, but it was happening, you know, I was right in the middle of it. Olathe police walked us through the series of events. They say a student was called to an administrator's office. Not too long after that, the shooting happened. There was an incident that occurred in the office area of the school uh, between a student and administrator. Video shared with KSHB 41 News shows an officer responding to the school. Police say three people were shot, including a male administrator, a school resource officer, and the suspect, an adult male student. Police tell us SRO Eric Clark shot the student. We had an SRO, it sounds like, that, that did his job. For parents like Dorsty, he's grateful his son is safe. Unbelievable. So um, that's just what you hope for. And that's probably how many parents are feeling tonight. Not too long ago, we found out the Johnson County DA's office is reviewing this case for possible charges. We also found out that a special investigation team has been brought in because an officer fired their weapon. Now, that is standard procedure, along with the officer being placed on paid administrative leave. Caitlin. Cameron, thank you for that look back. Again, we, we are just glad that there weren't students who were injured here. We're glad that that officer and the athletic director are doing okay. That Again, we believe they've been released and they are doing okay. When we were here earlier, it was just a wide range of emotions. Parents who were anxious and then who were elated when they were finally reunited with their children and then just in shock over what happened. I think shock is probably the number one thing we heard from students and their parents out here today. Earlier, somebody showed me a text from their son that said, um, Dad, if I die today, I love you. And that just really puts it all together for me is, you know, how close we came to being a statistic. I think everybody was petrified, like straight up everybody was terrified. Kids were crying. I mean, everybody was calling their moms. Everybody was saying, I love you. The legislators, the congressmen, mayor, everybody in this need to get together and do what they need to do to secure our children better, secure our children and protect them more. Our hearts certainly go out to the students who are here today, to their families who are still trying to process what they experienced today. They did get a message from the superintendent trying to reassure families that Olathe Public Schools will come together, that they have families' backs. Together we will move forward as a strong Olathe community that I know we are. Hug your loved ones a little tighter tonight and know that we are all here to support you as a community. That was the Olathe Public School Superintendent in a message sent out to families earlier today. Again, a lot of things that we don't know yet that we're still trying to get answered. We will bring you updates. We'll stay on top of this. Reporting live from Olathe, I'm Caitlin Canute for KSHB 41 News. Dia, back to you. Caitlin, thank you so much for that context, that depth tonight. There's so many stories to share from today. You can find more of our coverage of this Olathe East School shooting on our website, KSHB.com.